So here's how you connect to the ZBitX and download the firmware to the front panel. So the front panel on this has a different software from what runs inside the Raspberry Pi. And this is the Raspberry Pi, our, you know, connectors. And this is the Pico, which controls the front panel. So this is a different pro microcontroller. And we need to now get the firmware into the front panel as well when you are updating. So to do that, you have to basically go to our homepage, which is at hfsignals.com, and click on ZBitX either there or on the front page. And when it opens the ZBitX homepage, you will see that. Okay, it's taking a little while to open it up. And here it's opened. And you have to basically now click and download this UF2 file, which is a file specific to this, and this is being downloaded here, and I think it's done. So now I will, I can see this file here, right, in the downloads. So this is my file here, I have downloaded the file. Next, I will mount this Pico as a, as a drive, so I will connect the USB cable to my PC and I will connect the other end here but what, when I connect this right now the power is off there's no power here right before I push this in I have to keep holding the knob down so when I do that and put this on you will see that the screen is now all gray it's the the usual controls of the radio are not available and once I do that on my file on my file manager i can see this mounted as a drive and you'll see that there are always these two files index.htm and uh, htm and info uftxt and here i will also copy i'll just paste my uf2 file which i have just downloaded so this downloads and once it fin finishes copying this it's finished it this will disappear and you will see that the latest software is now available on the firmware and usually this will tell you what's the latest version of the firmware which has come into the front panel. Now you can disconnect this and boot regularly and start using your radio. Always see to it that you have the same pair of firmware connected on the uh, downloaded on the front panel as well as on the Raspberry Pi together.